In this question, we're told to use Simpson's rule with five ordinates to find an approximate value for the integral from 0 to pi by 3 of tan squared dx. It says to show your working and give your answer to correct four decimal places. First thing to note on this question is that we are working with five ordinates. Five ordinates, there's always one more ordinate than there are strips, so the number of strips n must be equal to 4 in that case. So in order to work out the interval width, h, we are going to do the upper boundary, pi by 3, minus the lower boundary, which is 0, all divided by number of strips, which is 4, which gives us a value of h is equal to pi by 12. Next, we construct a table. n will represent the number of ordinates. xn represents the values substituted in to the function. And then yn represents the y, the y values outputted by the function. So n equals 0, xn will be equal to 0. We're at the lower bounds. Y, n is equal to 1 xn will be equal to pi by 12, n is equal to 2, xn will be equal to 2 pi by 12. Notice that I haven't cancelled it because when it comes to entering it on my calculator all I have to do is just change 1 pi to 2 pi. n equals 3 gives me 3 pi by 12, again not cancelling it, and n equals 4 gives me 4 pi by 12, which when you consider, it does cancel to pi by 3. So it looks like we've done our strips correctly. So then remembering that the calculator must be in radians, because this is uh, integration, it's calculus with trigonometry, so your calculator must always be in radians whenever you're doing calculus or some topics related to calculus. So put my calculator into radians, I substitute in pi at x equals 0, and this evaluates to be 0. Substitute in pi by 12. Now it says give my answer correct to four decimal places, so I work to at least six decimal places. I always do uh, two more decimal places than is required. As an absolute minimum, you should do one. So we get 0 0.071797. Next, substitute in pi by 12, 2 pi by 12 and I get 0 0.333333. Substitute in 3 pi by 12, we get an answer of 1, and substitute in pi by 3, and we get an answer of 3. Okay, next step isn't necessarily required for the solution. I like to do this just to help me uh, understand where I'm substituting in the values. I'm going to write out Simpson's rule in relation to this specific example. So it's going to be h, the integral i is approximated by h over 3. We add y0 plus the last y value, which is y4, together. I then do 4 times the odd ordinates. So that would be y1 plus y3 plus 2 times the remaining even ordinates, the only re remaining even ordinate is y2, so we get times y2. And this just helps me organise myself before I substitute this, these values into Simpson's rule. So my integral i is going to be evaluated by as pi by 12 over 3 multiplied by 0 plus 3 plus 4 Lots of 0 0.7, uh, sorry, missed out the zero there, 0 0.071797 plus 1 plus 2, lots of 0 0.333333. Okay, so once you've shown the substitution of the values, there's no need to do any sort of intermediary steps. You can just use your calculator to evaluate this. Remembering that we're going to evaluate this to four decimal places, and when we evaluate this to four decimal places, you should get an answer of 0 0.6941. Okay then, so let's have a look at part B. Part B says use part A to deduce an approximate value for the integral 
0 to pi by 3 of sec squared dx. So somehow I want to use tan squared and what I'm going to do to link sec squared to tan squared is that I know 1 plus tan squared theta or 1 plus tan squared x is equal to sec squared x. So what we're going to write instead is that it's from 0 to pi by 3 sec squared x dx that is going to be the integral from 0 to pi by 3 of 1 plus tan squared x dx. Now I can split this into two integrals so I can integrate between 0 and pi by 3 1 dx plus the integral between 0 and pi by 3 of tan squared x dx. So integrating my first integral I get x evaluated between 0 and pi by 3 <coughs> plus and I've already established that the result for tan squared theta and the integral for tan squared theta would be 0 0.6961. So all that's left to do is substitute in my values. So I get pi by 3 minus 0 plus 0 0.6961. And I'm going to evaluate this again to four decimal places. And since there's no exact answers here, this is a numerical method, I'm going to give the answer as 1.7413 to four decimal places. Okay then, so let's have a look and see how the marks are awarded on this question. Uh, there are standalone marks for getting the table values. So once you get three values right, you get one standalone mark. Once you get five values correct, you get two standalone marks. There is a method mark at this stage for, for getting the correct value for h, which of course you must have had for the table, and using the correct form of the Simpson's rule. And then finally there is an answer mark for getting the correct answer of 0 0.6941. In part b, there is a method mark for splitting up the integral using the Pythagorean identity 1 plus tan squared x equals sec squared x. And then there is an answer mark for getting the correct approximation for the value of the integral. Okay, well, I hope you managed to understand my solution and that you followed how to mark it.